How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video I'm going to show you how to ship this with this using this. This is an eBay order, this is an Android phone, this is a Beepert BY426 Bluetooth thermal printer. It is USB also and I do have a video showing me unboxing it and setting it up. If you haven't already seen that video, I encourage you to check it out in the corner. I will also have a link in the description. It's usable with USB but it also has a Bluetooth function to work with Android or iOS. The Bluetooth on it is not perfect by any means. You do have to download an app but I think I have the process down to be at least usable. Not being perfect is kind of what you sacrifice sacrifice for the price point. This is only a hundred and fifty something dollar printer. Something with a little bit better workflow would be the brother, but it's a lot more expensive, so that's the trade-off. I will be showing you one eBay package, and I'm also going to show you a Poshmark package, so if you want to skip to the Poshmark section, there is an index in the description, so you can skip straight to that if you're not really doing eBay. But eBay and Poshmark are the two main platforms, or you can watch it all the way through and learn a lot about this printer with this phone and eBay and Poshmark and everything. And with that being said, if you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and hit that little bell notification so it lets you know when I put out a new video and you can watch it if you want. And let's get into the tutorial. First things first, we're going to need to change the settings on eBay. And you can't do that through their app, so you're going to have to open a browser. Or if you have a computer, you can do it on your computer. It's actually a lot faster than opening a browser and doing it that way. And you're gonna navigate to ebay.com. You're gonna wanna make sure that you're signed in and everything is good to go. This looks just like a desktop, but if yours looks a little bit different than that, you can hit three dots at the top and make sure to check desktop site. This might be what yours looked like. And that is how I got that desktop site. Three dots at, three dots at the top and then change to desktop site. Then you're gonna to navigate to my eBay, go to selling. You're gonna to have to get an order opened on eBay through the desktop site in order to change the setting. And it's down here at the bottom of an order. It's right down here at the bottom of order. If you didn't know it's there, you wouldn't know. You'd have to hit change. And if you're on eight and a half by 11, you have to change it to four by six. Otherwise, your labels generated are not gonna be in the correct dimension and this is not going to work and it's just going to frustrate you. That's where eBay's settings are. I don't know why they have it designed like that. There's other apps, as you'll see on Poshmark, you can change it within the app in a simple settings place, but that's how you have to do it on eBay. Once you've set up those settings, you're gonna to go to your Google Play Store. You're going to type in FBA Print and this app right here, FBA Print with the little printer, you're going to install that app and then you're going to hit open. You're gonna get hit with this user agreement. You can hit close. It's asking for location device. It needs something that has to do with the location for Bluetooth, so I hit only while using this app. And then I'm going to have to go back to home screen, find the app, hold it, go to app info, and change one more permissions before we get started, and that is files and media, we're gonna allow management of all files and then go back to home screen. Open the app, and now the app has permissions to access files, because that's where PDFs are going to be. Go up to the gear here, hit connect, connect, new search, scan for new devices, and you're going to connect to the BY426 something something underscore, the one that does not say LE, there's one that says LE at the top here. You're gonna to connect to the one that does not say LE. And if it asks for a password, it's going to be 0000. I think I already typed mine in and it remembered it, but that is how you connect to the printer. And you are gonna to make sure your Bluetooth is on. If you're not getting your Bluetooth connections popping up, you can swipe down and get to your Bluetooth settings, turn Bluetooth on and off that way and you wanna make sure your Bluetooth is on. Every time you get into the app, you're going to have to connect to the printer, but they do make a shortcut to where you can just hit connect to, net to last time, and that will connect the same way it did last time and allow you to know that it, the printer is online up here at the top right. And there's also a blinking green light on the printer lets you know that you are connected. Now that we're connected to the printer, the app is installed. We're going to open eBay, their app, 
and you're going to navigate to an order pull that order up go to create shipping label and then I'm gonna have to put in my package dimensions which really don't matter because this is gonna be shipping first class at seven ounces so this is about six inches by six inches by one inch if you want to change anything else on here you can change your payment method you have your additional options for signature require some a couple other things if you scroll down you can also change your ship from address but that looks good i'm going to hit purchase shipping label i'm going to hit ok it's going to generate the label uh, this is the annoying workflow for this printer you're going to have to hit print label if i wanted to send it to my brother i could send it right there but I can't do that for this printer. It doesn't work like that. I have to save it as a PDF to the phone. You wanna change your paper size to index card four by six. There we go. And then you can see that that looks like a four by six shipping label. I'm gonna hit this PDF download button and then it brings me into my downloads folder. I'm gonna hit save. I could have renamed it if I wanted to and that saves my label into my phone. Now I gotta pull that label up in the app. So I go back to the app. I'm still connected so I don't have to reconnect. I can go back, I'm gonna tap here for PDF. I'm gonna hit choose PDF file and you can see right here by time 1158, that was the label we just generated. I've heard that some people can just tap on the label right here and it opens up in their app. For me, when I tap on the label, as you can see, it doesn't do anything. It just disconnects from the printer. It kind of is like a bug, I think, for my type of Android. But I have heard some people saying that it works perfectly fine for them. So your mileage may vary. Now I have to reconnect and I'll show you guys how I've been doing it on my phone. Choose PDF. Instead of picking it right here, I go to three lines at the top. I open File Manager, and File Manager displays the files a little bit differently. And my 1158 file that we just generated, I'm going to tap on that. It's going to bring that into the app. As you can see, that's my eBay label. I'm going to hit Start Print. I'm going to hit OK. Now it's going to send the print signal to the printer and it comes out Bluetooth just like that. I can take my label, stick it on my package. So that's the entire process, how you ship from this printer from one single label on eBay. If you want to do bulk shipping, you can do it through the browser, download that PDF that has all of the labels on it, and then send that PDF to the printer, and it should print bulk labels. But it doesn't do bulk shipping through the app. You have to do it through a browser on desktop mode and just kind of do it through your phone as you would through a desktop. Now we're gonna go to Poshmark, which is, I think, a little bit easier of a workflow than eBay. Gonna go to your Google Play Store. You're going to type in FBA Print, and this app right here, FBA Print with the little printer, you're going to install that app, and then you're going to hit open. You're gonna get hit with this user agreement. You can hit close. It's asking for a location device. It needs something with that has to do with the location for Bluetooth, so I hit only while using this app, and then I'm going to have to go back to home screen find the app, hold it, go to app info, and change one more permissions before we get started, and that is files and media. We're gonna allow management of all files and then go back to home screen. Open the app, and now the app has permissions to access files, because that's where PDFs are going to be. Go up to the gear here, hit connect, connect, new search, scan for new devices, and you're going to connect to the BY426 something something underscore. The one that does not say LE, there's one that says LE at the top here. You're going to connect to the one that does not say LE. And if it asks for a password, it's going to be 0000. I think I already typed mine in and it remembered it. But that is how you connect to the printer. And you are going to make sure your Bluetooth is on. If you're not getting your Bluetooth connections popping up, you can swipe down and get to your Bluetooth settings, turn Bluetooth on and off that way. 
and you wanna make sure your Bluetooth is on. Every time you get into the app, you're going to have to connect to the printer, but they do make a shortcut to where you can just hit connect to, net to last time, and that will connect the same way it did last time and allow you to know that the printer is online up here at the top right. And there's also a blinking green light on the printer lets you know that you are connected. Now that we're connected to the printer, the app is installed. You're gonna have to open your Poshmark app and then navigate to your user profile, scroll down to my seller tools and then shipping label settings and then change it from eight and a half by 11 to four by six, which is the label printer format. Otherwise, your labels are not going to look correct at all. Once you do that, go into an order, hit download shipping label. You're going to download the shipping label. I've actually already downloaded this label, so it's gonna pop up with that. But if yours is a new order, it should just, it'll open up in a new tab and it'll download to your phone. Now we're going to scroll over, go to FBA print, make sure your printer is connected. If it's not, go up to the gear, hit connect, connect, connect to last time because it should remember it from when we set it up earlier. And once you're connected, go back, tap on that PDF, choose PDF file. For me, I have to go three lines at the top, file manager, open that Poshmark label, and then hit start print, okay. And it'll send my Poshmark label to my printer. It prints it out. I can take this and go stick it on my package. And everything was from the phone. I did not have to use a computer at all. So those are the two platforms I really wanted to highlight in this tutorial. It's not perfect by any means, but it does work. And it's what we have right now in that $150 range for thermal printing from your phone kind of solution. The Brother is more expensive than this printer. So this is kind of all we really have for the $150 range of thermal printing wirelessly as of right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you have any questions about the printer, you probably will put them in the comment section below and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.